Boom. What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and I am super excited today to be talking to you about this. The Bravo X-Sling from Alpaca. Take a look at it. Pretty dang sleek. Let's get into this thing. You know what we do on this channel. We do One Take Bag Reviews. What does that mean? It means we are just firing away. Simple, honest feedback on bags. Check out other reviews if you get a chance. Lots of cool stuff on the channel already and more bags coming every single week. That's right, all right. So we're gonna look at the outside of this bag, then we're gonna look at the inside of this bag, all the nooks and crannies and pockets at the end of the review. We're gonna talk about two things we like about the bag, two things not so much, and then an overall recommendation should you chunk down your hard earned money on a Bravo X-Sling from Alpaca. Let's dive right in. All right, so first off, this is a sleek little bag. Look at this thing. Form factor is tiny, and I think it's gorgeous. It is a beautiful looking bag. This is in the X-Pack gray material, um, and it's got the blaze orange interior. More on that in a little bit here. Um, outside exterior features here, you've got a Cordura bottom, a D-ring hook on the bottom. You have a charging port on the side. We'll talk about that, I promise. Um, you have a little bit of a leather logo here with the alpaca symbol. You have AquaGuard zippers from YKK on every single zippered compartment in this bag. Um, you have a main compartment, a front pocket, a back pocket. We're going to get into all those. You have a not-so-subtle alpaca branding on the back of the sling. Neoprene padded section on the back with a grab handle. Seatbelt material, same material that the strap is made out of here on the back. And then this is a crossbody sling. So you can toss it on like so. You can wear it on the front. You can wear this as a waist pack, although when I tried that, I've got to say, totally impractical and uncomfortable. They list that as a carry option. They also say you can wear it as kind of a messenger style bag if you lengthen the strap. Again, a little uncomfortable because of the shape of the bag, but more practical. So of the three suggested carry styles that they uh, talk about on their site, crossbody is absolutely what this bag was designed for. It's where the bag shines. Eh. Messenger, if you must, but seriously, why? And then lastly, waist pack. I mean, if you put nothing in it, that is slightly practical, but it, it is not the most comfortable um, as a waist pack. So that is the exterior features of this bag. Again, this is in this kind of uh, cement gray X pack. I think it's gorgeous. My favorite look of um, bags from Alpaca with the exception of the Coyote X pack, which I think is just awesome. I also got my hands on the same exact bag in multicam black. And I think it looks really good in this multicam black as well. So uh, one of the coolest things about Alpaca is that they do a lot of kind of limited editions and are constantly dropping different versions of their bags. So if you don't like the color options, wait a month you'll be uh, hit up on Instagram with multiple different versions of the bags that you enjoy. So for, for those who like choice, a great brand to be a fan of. This is in Multicam Black Cordura. This is in uh, Gray X-Pack. All right, so let's talk about this bag. Inside features of this bag are really, really interesting and worth talking about. So what do we have up front here? Well, you've got one main compartment here I've tossed in a little pocket knife on my key carabiner and my blue light blocking glasses. This pocket stretches kind of the whole front section seam to seam here. It is high contrast interior. Uh, it's light blue on the core version and then it tends to be blaze orange on the um, limited edition versions. There are no pockets within this front pocket. It is just a slim drop pocket that kind of runs from seam to seam down to uh, the bottom of this section. And it's useful, but there are no subdivisions in it. So it's a little drop pocket, little stash pocket. There is no extra protection. So um, uh, you'll probably wanna resist the urge of putting your sunglasses, that kind of stuff, sensitive stuff in there. The big main compartment here. Now, 
it's worth calling out that this bag, the zippers stop short of the full uh, length of this main compartment. So what do I mean by that? I mean, instead of going all the way to the back section here, they stop about an inch and a half short. And that does mean that the whole lid doesn't open all the way. And I hope you can see this okay. It opens like a frog's mouth, but not, it doesn't, you can't pull it all the way over. When you do, you end up um, not exposing the whole um, middle section of the bag, the main section, still kind of covers up your laptop slash tablet section in this bag. Um, worth noting that that does not open all the way. All right, what's going on in this main compartment? Well, you've got two drop pockets here. One, two, on the inside, I have in there my power cords and my power brick, okay? So that's those two drop sections. And then in the main section, I've got my lar fairly large gimbal, okay? So you actually do have quite a bit of space in this main compartment here. I was impressed with how much I got in there and my tripod for my gimbal. So it's not huge, so here's a swell bottle. The swell bottle fits, but takes up the entire space of the bag. So just from a, this is a 20 ounce or 26 ounce swell bottle, and it takes up the whole entire interior of the bag. So you're not gonna be dropping multiple items and a water bottle in here. This is a very minimalist carry. Let's talk about some really good news. This, for those of you who have an iPad car based carry like I do, look at that. This is my 11 inch iPad Pro in a magic keyboard and it slides just right down into this super padded tech compartment. So if you have an 11 inch iPad, even with the magic keyboard, this thing drops right in there like it was made for it because it was made for it. You've got one more big compartment to talk about on this bag and that's this back compartment, which honestly, is massive so back pockets on slings like this are usually like drop your drop your passport in it that's all you get in this one you get a magnetic quick release attachment point for alpaca accessories like hub pouches and that sort of thing then you have one slender pocket on the side here with a leather tab on it and a second right here with another leather tab leather tab on it and then the pocket itself runs the whole length of the back, it's not like a little passport size thing, the whole back panel here is a pocket. Now, that's interesting because I was a little worried. I thought, okay, well, if I start chunking things into this back pocket, you know, how quickly is that going to become super uncomfortable on the back when I toss it on as a crossbody bag? The answer is, I loaded it up pretty good, and I still, although you could feel the items because of this neoprene shell, on the back, I, I didn't ever feel like I was getting poked by the stuff I had put into this pocket. So um, I ended up storing some cords back there and I ended up uh, tossing my AirPods back there and a couple of other things and I, I never felt like it was overloaded. The main compartment got a little bit tight with my gimbal, but the back pocket never really got too overloaded. So that's all the sections on this bag. And you can see here, same layout with every different version of this bag. You know, you've got your tablet sleeve, your two pockets, and your main pocket. And in the back section, you've got your two pockets and your main pocket and your hub attachment point. The uh, sling does come with a power connector so that if you wanted to, you could keep a power bank in here and then, you know, have external access to power supply. All right, let's talk about this bag. Two things we love about the Alpaca Bravo Max. The first thing that I really love about this bag is, frankly, the organization is top notch, top notch. The slip pockets on both the front section and the back section of this bag have plenty of space. You, you don't ever feel like you are like, with a slim bag sometimes you're just like, I can't fit the crap that I want to. They made these pockets too small. There are no kind of specific admin pin pockets or pocket knife pockets. 
this whole thing has, you know, larger than necessary drop pockets. And because of that, you can use them any way you want, uh, which is ideally in a sling like this, that's what you've got is options and, you know, you know, really choices to make for yourself with your carry. So the structure and organization of this bag, I was honestly surprised at first. I thought that I was going to have multiple pockets and organization points in the front, but they treat the front like the drop pocket and the back like the organized admin pocket in this bag, which works out really well. Honestly, it works out really, really well. So uh, organization is absolutely clutch in this bag. The second thing I love about this bag is the size. You get your iPad in this bag completely and easily, and you don't have extra unnecessary space. I loaded this thing down with everything that is in my absolutely must have carry and felt great and felt great. And when you toss it on your bag, it sits exactly right. When you talk it, toss it on your back, I should say. So when you toss it on your back, it sits like a dream, kind of exactly where you want it to. Sometimes you get sling bags and you order them and they don't wear crossbody style like you see in the images from the manufacturer. This bag rides exactly the way you want it to. It, it is easily adjustable and it just sits at the perfect 45 degree angle from a crossbody bag. It's exactly what I like a crossbody bag to be. Um, rides tight to your body um, and is super comfortable to wear. Also, because of the size, you can't overload the sucker. You got it forces you to make some choices and make some cuts from your carry. If you want some, if you want more stuff, there is the Bravo Max, and I will do a comparison video. Man, the Bravo X is kind of a sweet spot for me. I really, really like it. So that brings us to two things that you know I think could have been better about this bag. Okay, the first thing that I think could be better about this bag is. There's no grab handle. Ah! So there is a grab handle, but it's on the back of the bag. And it is really tight to the bag, so it's kind of hard to grab the bag. And then when you pick it up, you're not holding the bag from the top, you're holding it from the back, which is really bizarre and really weird. So this is an all but unusable grab handle. Every time I've worn this bag, I. I have to remind myself, oh, the grab handle is on the back. It would have been really nice to have a grab handle on the, the top of this bag that just came out a little bit that you could pick it up from the top. That would be ideal. There's tons of slings that have it. Those that don't, I feel like it missed something. Yeah, so grab handle would have been really, really nice with this bag. And the last thing um, that I would change about this bag, you know, I, I debated. There's two things, really. You know, I, I think I could pick at them for I wish this fully opened all the way with a kind of a D shape instead of this stopping an inch. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Um, I'm not going to pick on them for that. But Alpaca, I am going to pick on you for this. Stop it with this weird, ugly external power supply. Our phones don't die like they used to. We do not need an external power supply coming out from the middle of our bag anymore. And if we absolutely need to recharge our phone, it is not the end of the universe. We are not going to die to have this look instead of this look. Like, what? what is so wrong that we couldn't run a cord from inside our bag that we need this ugly monstrosity on the outside of the bag. So, Alpaca, from me to you, I love you. Stop it with this thing. It's ugly. Your bags, they look sick. They look beautiful. They look minimalist. They're the most modern looking bags out there, period. This is stupid. There's no need. Just whoever, whoever believes this is still a necessary thing, they're wrong. They're wrong. You don't need it. Get rid of it. It's it's bulky. It's ugly. It's nasty. I wish I could get rid of it on my bags, but it would leave a gaping hole in the side of my bags. Stop it with that. You don't need it anymore. It, we have moved on. We have moved on. You don't need external power supply. It looks cheap. All right. So 
Overall recommendation. This is about a hundred dollar bag. This is about a hundred dollar bag. Should you buy it? The answer is if you carry an iPad, if an 11 inch specifically, an 11 inch iPad is your main computing device, the answer to should you buy this sling is 100%. Heck to the yeah, this might be the most sleek and useful 11 inch iPad sling there is. It is super, super dope. I think it's great. And if you join Alpaca's uh, rewards program, you know, you can start to get some cool accessories for these bags, hub pouches, keychain holders, um, all kinds of neat knickknacks uh, as part of the rewards program. I'm not paid to say that. I do not have any kind of affiliate status with Alpaca or anything like that. That's just me saying I've used the rewards program and I've saved money on bags. So that all being said, I think this is a great bag. I like this more than my Bravo Max. I have the Bravo Max. I'm going to do a comparison review so you can see the size difference. I like this more because that's my main computer, my iPad Pro. And this is a great bag that was purpose built for a tech carry of the iPad Pro 11 inch. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I think you will too. I think it is worth the money for absolutely darn lootly sure. And you know, if you are comparing this to some of the other favorites on this channel, this versus the TomTok uh, EDC, Compact EDC, the TomTok wins for being a vertical design, which I, I like being able to slip vertically instead of horizontally. This wins hands down on quality. The, this is a much better built bag with much better materials, much better zippers, much better fabric, much better construction. Uh, for $40 more, it is uh, twice the bag, I think, than the TomTok Compact EDC, uh, if you can afford to go up one rung higher. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please like the video, subscribe if you're new here. We are constantly looking at bags, and I hope that you will join me next time uh, for the next bag review. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. See you then. Bye for now.